Hey, we're doing a review of the Atarim website. So Vito has asked us to have a look at it and we're going to go through the homepage and just see how does it do on the desktop and the mobile? Those of you who aren't aware of Atarim, it allows you to collaborate with your clients. So let's say you've done a website and you want the client to review it or to leave comments to say what they like or don't like, or maybe they're a long running client and there's an issue and they just want to mention like, can we change this, swap this image out? They could either send you loads of WhatsApp messages or emails or whatever, or even send it to you on a scribble through your letterbox, or they could use Atarim, whereby they can literally comment on the page. You know, like when you do a Word document and then you comment on it and then you decide whether you're going to accept or reject or whatever, or even comment further back on it. It's that kind of process. And Atarim is really good at that and it is well known in the WordPress community. But we're here to focus on the home page. So I'm just going to refresh this again just so you can see if there's any animation. So when it loads up, images come in, etc. And we do have, you can hopefully see it down here, we have this little bit of a message box, or a chat box, sorry. And when you click it, you get a chat box there. So that's super, super cool. What is nice though is that it is maintaining the color scheme. Nothing more annoying than when you have a message bot or something and it's like green, blue. And the color scheme of the website is nothing to do with that. The color palette we have here is mainly purples, dark purple, shades of purple. And then we have the pop color, which is like a neon-y pink, not completely neon pink, but it is going into that area. That complements the purple really, really well, okay? You could have gone for grays and whites as well, because white works really well with dark purpley shades, but you need to have a bit of a pop color. Look, if you look at interior design, and you had a room that was all aqua color or like a dark teal color, people are always gonna say you need a bit of yellow. Just like if you had a yellow room, you need a little bit of blue, right? And the same kind of goes there. You gotta have a highlight pop color. So the Atrium logo, I, I think it's a great logo. You know, not much more I can say about that. The image here is really, really clever, I think, because over here, you can see it's got like a WordPress document over here or I'm assuming it's a WordPress document, and you have some uh, web files, uh, a web page going over there. And I like the way it looks, because that is actually quite realistic to a lot of us web designers. We're working in the dark, we might have a lamp on and we're working on a website. The headline, redefine the way you collaborate with your clients and team. Now you could read, I, I might have gone with, with your clients and your team, maybe, but, and team without the your bit before that works just as well, I suppose. Um, create an easy and stress-free workflow for you, your team, and your clients by using the A plat by using the A platform that is dedicated to web agencies. Now, that I'm not sure if that is a typo or was that meant to say by using the A platform. So I'm literally treating this like I know nothing about Atrim. I do know about Atrim, but I've come in here saying I know nothing. So is that a typo over there with the A platform? Yeah, I'm not hiding that with my face over here. So the A platform, is that a typo or is that what it's known as? And if it was known as that, so we're saying it's the A platform, I would put it in apostrophes just so people don't look at that and go, is that a mistake there? But I know Vito has been working on this recently as well. So that's just an easy one. And sometimes when you design websites, we miss things like this because we're just focusing on the design little details, but it's easy. We have the menu system over here. That looks totally fine. Um, because of the way I'm recording in OBS, this is squashed up more than it probably needs to be, but don't worry about that. But when it is on a full size screen, that is laid out really nicely. I like this. This is really cool because it's telling you that there's over 99 clients using this right now. That's quite powerful, I think, in a way, because it's almost acting like a checkout basket function, but it's telling us there are over 99 people using this. It's probably like a million and he's, he just stopped at 99, but I'm making an assumption. Start a 14 day uh, free trial. It's a call to action. And I always say that if you are gonna have an offer or a free trial, you wanna have it in your top right because our eyes work that way, okay? We're gonna look at the screen. We start over on the left and then we move to the right, okay? That's just the way our brains work, okay? and Start 14 free day trial. Why wouldn't you want to click it? But we're here to look at the home page. So we scroll down, start again. We've got a repeat of that. 
your email address. I mean, at the moment, if we focus on that hero banner, right, that works. For me, that works really, really well. I understand it's telling me we're going to collaborate better. It's not just for me, it's for my team and clients, and it gives a bit more detail below. And I've got two call to actions. Yes, they're the same call to action, but we've got the main one there. And then, you know, um, and then we got one at the top. I would probably say it wouldn't have been a bad idea, actually, to make that a sticky header, maybe. Um, and when you scroll down, the sticky header, because um, at the moment, that's a transparent background. Um, and I would say that when the uh, when you scroll down, I would have it the background change from transparent to uh, a solid black color, for instance. We've got a video on that. It's dead, dead simple. It is so simple. It's unbelievable. But I would do that so that is so that that start your 14 day free trial never leaves your eye line. It is always there. So at the moment you feel like, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. You could just click and jump into it. I like this. I love 3D effects. And what I like about this is we've got this picture of a lady. OK, on the bottom of her, if you can just see uh, her bottom, uh, not her bottom, you know, where her legs are cut off. Right. It's like a sharp line. Right. It's a sharp line cut off. But to kind of almost make it pop, whereby you don't know, notice the sharp cutoff as much, it's her head coming up. Can you see that? Her head is creeping out there. That kind of pop effect, that 3D effect, is not used a lot, I find, with when people do images. And I like it. And the other great thing is we have this image that sits behind her as well. And I just like that. I just like how, you know, it's just popping out. It just works really, really well. I, I, I cannot compliment that enough. You know, and I reckon he's got two images and he's just overlapped them. Transparent image in front of another image with rounded corners. And the rounded corners works really well on here as well. Three months to one month average project completion. I try to get it done quicker, but that's quite good. And again, this is now using the kind of language and terminology. We can close way more sales now. Look, I mean, come on. This is now talking to agencies, freelancers, people in the know that work with clients and customers. And when you start to use language that we can relate to, the website becomes more important. We're not even, I mean, where am I? I'm not even halfway on the page. I'm like probably in the first 10%. This is a long page, by the way. And it's already talking to me. So I might now click to get the free trial. And that's where the sticky header at the top, I think, would be super, super useful. Keep it in the eye line. You know, don't let it disappear. We have a case study. Now I'm going to click it and just see what does that do. So it's going to open up a page and I'm not going to play it, but we get a YouTube video playing here. Great. It's another great way to get views on your YouTube video for number one. And number two, you get to broadcast a real case study. And this is actually a real person. I've just realized now I forgot. This is Tatiana. It is a real person. OK, so. I hope she didn't mind her head was sneaking out there at the top. I'm sure she doesn't. Right. Um. We then get down to the traditional uh, agencies, and this is working. What Vito's done has got it right. You've got your headline, your hero banner. You've then gone in to say a little bit more. Now you're saying who you work with. The mistake some people make is sometimes they leave this way below. What you're doing is um, reinforcing where you've made progress and who you work with. And just look at the names here. I'm going to pretend GoDaddy Pro's not there. No, I'm joking. Elementor, Kinster, Codable, WordFence, Cloudways, WP Engine, WP Tower. I mean, this is, this is powerful stuff. You know, I could easily argue and say just having Elementor, Kinster, Cloudways, WordFence, just those four on their own is powerful. And then you're bulking it up with more. This is super, super good. Um, gather content, approve design. I mean, look, these are good headlines. The spacing I have to say, though, at the moment is working really, really well. I'm not looking at this and going, you need to add in more margin and padding. By the way, I'm not biased towards Vito. I'm being critical here. The spacing is OK. The spacing is fine. I'm just, I'm just wondering if the, on these um, columns, I'm just wondering. I'm just going to use one of my tools here and just check something. Because I've got a feeling that, uh, is this all in line? Can you see that on the screen? I think you can. Can't. I'm just checking. I don't know why it feels like it's not. It might just be my eyes. But no, it is all in line. 
yeah, everything's in line. It's fine. No, it's fine. Ignore me. Let's get rid of that. Um, that's how I check when you're on the Mac. You use the screenshot function. I can just ma I can just draw. I can just draw my box and map things out. I am wondering though if um, um, this needs to be a bit more of a boxed width. So there's a bit more padding on the left and right, the far left and right here, over here and here. Just bring it in a little bit. And I would just slightly increase the spacing out here. That does mean that these columns are going to be a little bit taller, tiny bit taller, but just bring them in a little bit. Um, I think yeah, that would work better. So there's more black down the left and right hand side. Clearer requests for uh, faster work. Oh, I just noticed something. I didn't notice this at first. So when we get to this part here, can you see a bottom uh, footer almost like a sticky bottom appears? And that's going to tell us what the progress is. And that's quite neat how Vito's done that. So we can now see visual collaboration. This is great. Images. This is now showcasing the product, right? This is what it does. This is super good. And you scroll down, internal communication. This is really good, Vito. This is awesome. Look at that. It's a pay. It doesn't, the pay... Yes, I am scrolling down, but if you look at it, just look what it's doing, right? You can, I can tell you, it's doing like a transparency blur. Tell me if I'm wrong, Vito. As you scroll down, uh, another image, which I reckon is overlapped, is scroll, is uh, the transparency is going from like, you know, nothing, zero to one. You know, he might be using CSS, he might be using the scroll, I think he's using the scroll effect. But this is super good. And if he's used anything else like a widget or something, I'm impressed by that. That is super, super good. Gathering content is now easy. Yeah, this, th these sections work for me. Again, we have a repeat of another section above in terms of layout. We have a case study. So repetition is great for consistency. Easily collaborate with your team. And again, we have another section going on here where as you scroll, Further content comes through. This is really good. This, I think, is it's a neat way of almost showing. Um, well, in a way, Vito is not advertising web design services here. But I bet there'll be people who look at his website and go, hey, Vito, how did you do that? Could you do that for my website as well? You know, um, and I might check with Vito, what did you use for this? Exactly what widgets and what did you use? And I might do a video on it. Did you hear that, Vito? I'll be on your case in a moment. Again, best tool I've ever bought. Look at the headlines. This is speaking to developers, right? So if you know your ideal client, why would you not use the terminology that we want to hear? What's going to make you purchase a computer, software, hardware, a t-shirt, whatever, right? What is going to make you do that or not? Oh, I love this. Oh, I really like this image. Canva at its best. I bet this is Canva. Your logo, your colors, you know, white labeling. So he's saying our product, you can make your own. This is ticking a lot of boxes, but the layout, this is really, really good. This is so good. Connect to your existing workflow. Okay. So he's got a couple of, uh, you know, he's got a couple of images. They slice. Okay. He's overlapping them. That's fine. Interesting to see how this looks on the mobile, though, because this is a long page. Platform dedicated to you. Again, similar. I would have more white on the left and right. You know, so just make sure you can see my hands on the camera, actually. So on the furthest left and right, have more white and maybe just a bit more spacing between the columns. Just a tiny bit. Look at this. Case studies. How Rosie went from six months to six weeks with Atarim. Andrew, ah, oh, he looks familiar. I've seen him somewhere before. I can't remember where. Somewhere I've seen him. How Andrew delivered in a three-week website project in three days. You know, look at this. This is super good. How Alan reduced his time dealing with tasks to one-third within a week. Dan as well here. Real case. This is probably one of the nicest ways, I think, of doing testimonials. I have to be honest. I'm a little fed up of testimonial carousels. They're so common, right? Um, and they start to feel, bleh, you know, like, bleh, bleh, you know, here's a testimonial, slides, two of them, three of them, you click, click, click. This 
is nicer. We get an image, clear images, good JPEG images or PNG or WebP, whatever, good images with a key headline. You know when you get a testimonial and it just has the wording and then it says underneath, Rosie, CEO of whatever, right? That's fine. And you have a little image. Fine, fine, fine. But look at this. How Rosie went from... So, you know, it, 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 rather than it just feeling like a testimonial, it's now like a case study, a mini case study here. And again, he's done this. He's done a video. I, I want to see what Andrew looks like. Let's see Andrew. There he is. Um, so this is super good. So I would say take inspiration from the way this is done. And it doesn't have to be like like the way he, um, Vito's done, like one, one, one. You could have one here and have a smaller one here. You know, like a, what's it called? Like a metro masonry effect. You could do that as well. A super cool way of making your testimonials feel more engaging. You know, you could even, I'm not saying do this Vito, but where you've got Rosie, her pill or her block, you could have had another pill here, which is just a small square. And that already has the video there. Um, but what you've done here, if you've watched the case study, I think is really cool. We're near the bottom, by the way. Uh, start collaborating and managing your work efficiently. You know, so this is, this is all super, super good. My clients love it. I mean, look at this. The pop, do you get it? Look, look at the bottom. We have a hard cutoff. Hard cutoffs are very noticeable, I find. I really, they, I go, Ugh, you got curvature and then you've done a hard cutoff. But when you pop it, what are you noticing more? Do you notice the hard cutoff or do you notice her head popping up? You notice the head popping up, right? So that is cool. And we get to the bottom and the footer for me works really well. You got all your stuff there. You know, uh, you got your links, you got your logo description, you got your icons. Works super, super well. Now, I am wondering, though, if maybe the reason why we don't have a sticky header is literally because of all of these sections. So where we have all of these, where you have the bottom, uh, you know, like the scrolling effect, so how page progress, sorry, and all of that, I now understand why you don't have the sticky header veto. So what I said above, you can literally just kick me away, all right? I get it. How's your website look? when we go to responsive mode. So I'm viewing this on an iPhone XR. I could pick lots of different sizes or whatever phone device I want, but I'm just going for an iPhone XR. Uh, in case anyone is wondering, I'm using a website called Blue Tree, one word, Blue Tree, B-L-U-E tree dot A-I, okay? Uh, so if you need to test out on particular devices, you can go ahead and do that. So when we look at the website, we got the logo. It's nice at the top. We have the options come down. What I will say, I don't think you need to have the border radius at the top there. So I would say that um, because it's coming down, I d the border radius at the bottom, so where it says start 14 day, you can see it just there. I don't think you need to have it at the top. I think you can lose that and just have it flat. Um, but, but that works okay in terms of what we got going on over here. I mean, we're not visiting the other pages, but you know we've still got the little uh, call to action there. So that's great. That's always in view. We can scroll down. We got a reminder. Again, look, you can clearly tell that he's uh, the homework's been done here. We've got good padding. I keep saying to people that do uh, a mobile version of their website, your wording is right up against the edge. They're like, yeah, but you can still read it. I go, yeah, but it's not nice. I like, you want to have breathing space so you, you don't feel like, you, it just doesn't feel trapped on the screen, right? So good, good spacing here. This is super, super good. Um, even though the purple is going to the edge, that doesn't matter. The wording within has padding, you know, the column. Again, look, this is all super good. It repeats what we had before, you know, the images, so the layout, the styling, the sizing as well, super important. I don't know if he used REM or what Vito's used, but he's he's got the he's got the differentiation between, you know, if we look at it over here, back to the desktop, look at the word sizing here, look at that, look at the header there. We go over here. It's right. It works well. And that's the beauty of it. That's super good. Again, we get down here. Again, Vito's, he's, he's thought about this. We've got a hard cut off, but the head's popping up. So we follow through that nice visualization. Over here, the video is going to play if we want it to. That's all super good. Trusted by 5,000 clients. Um, I would probably say, 
I'm probably going to say, and I'm just going to double check how it looks over here. It's on the left hand side here, which you can get away with here. I'm just wondering if this can be centered for the mobile. I would actually have that centered and have a bit of, just have the, have that padding on the left and right again, left and right padding. And I would actually center that because on the mobile, um, unless that was a paragraph of text, I would, I would have it centered. That's just me. And I'm weird because a lot of the other stuff is centered. I would have it centered, you know, um, gather content. I'm going to say that, um, right. So, you know, the amount of spacing you've got here which is about, and I'll tell you how much it is, with my trusty tool, it's going to be about 94, 90, 90, about 90 you've got there, pixel difference, right? I'm going to say that you actually do that 90 over here as well. So bring the collaborate visual and the icon up a little bit, because at the moment you're spacing you actually might not be that far off. You're only about 10 pixels, but I would just take it up a bit because I'm notice I can I'm noticing that it's a, a little bit more than the others below. So just take it up a notch, right? The rest are fine, the rest are fine, but I would take that up a notch. Um clearer, clearer request for faster work. I would add in a bit of spacing here. So the visual collaboration is looking a little bit close to the top there. I would add a little bit of more spacing there. A little bit more spacing. Hold on, let me make sure I've got the right ones here. Yeah, so a little bit more spacing there. Um, in fact, I can, sh I can you can actually tell here. So where you've got, sorry, let me get this right. Increase the spacing here. Increase the spacing here. And increase the spacing here. And, and you know underneath the wording where you have the image, I would decrease the spacing. So let me say it again. Increase here, decrease that. Increase here, decrease that. Increase here, decrease that. Because there, there is a chance that like auto screenshots is closer to image two and further away from image three. So you want to make it clear that auto screenshots relates to this image here. So just a bit of spacing there. Gathering content is now easy. You know, uh, you you could increase uh, there a little bit and decrease here a little bit, so it just makes it connected better. This is all good. Now, one one thing I will say, and I noticed this on, I don't know why it's not playing. So if I was to actually look at uh, Atrim on an actual mobile phone, as I'm scrolling up and down, right, and you can't see it here because it's not enacting it because I'm using a uh, a mobile emulator. But you see these images behind the people. As you scroll up and down, right? So if this is the person uh, here, right? In front of the, the background. As you scroll up and down, the image kind of does this. Kind of like, I can't remember what it does. It does something, it kind of, it does a bit of a scrolling effect going on. And it is so nice on the mobile. You literally do this on your phone watching it. It's so cool. You can't see it here. But the bit of a scrolling effect that Vito's got for the Atrium site is super cool. Uh, this is fine. Now, over here, can you see where we have one platform? We need to get that padding back in. Uh, the same with the new inbox. We just need to get that padding back in. Let's get rid of the cookie bit there. So just bring it in a bit. Breathing space. Kanban board, again, breathing space. And again, I would say increase the spacing here decrease here, increase here, decrease here, you get the drill, increase here, decrease here, because Kanban board, and I just want to make sure that we are on the right, yeah, because the Kanban board is closer to the inbox image and the email image and further away from the actual image it needs to be, so just a bit better spacing there. Um, I could be completely wrong, I mean, if we were to emulate a completely different device, it might look better. But I'm just using an iPhone XR device rather than the Pro and the Max because there's going to be more people with the smaller device than the Pro and Max. So I'm kind of thinking of the most common uh, tool there. Best tool I ever bought. This is good. Image again. We've got the, the background. Better points for a better. So again, same thing here. Increase there, decrease there. Just make sure the image is closer to the relevant text. That's good. The motion effect we got there. That's nice. I like that. You know, a bit of a bit of interactivity, interaction almost. 
this is fine. This is fine as well. Again, we get the, it's not as dramatic as it was on the desktop. But who cares? It works. It works. It works. And then we get to the bottom, you know, uh, join in, sign up. My clients love it. This is all good. We got the image there. Actually, it is moving. Sorry, I'm probably moving my mouse too much. Can you see the image there? It's near her neck. It's near the uh, neck. Now, watch as I scroll up. It's now more level with the mouth. Did you see that? Did you blink and miss it? Look, it's near her neck and it's doing that. And that's what he's got further up on all of the image background. So nice, little, nice, subtle motion effects work better sometimes, I think, than whoosh, 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 whoosh. You know, you know, it gets a bit crazy. And that is nice. Uh, and this is nice now. We got the nice cent. I, I, li I always prefer it sometimes when footers are centralized sometimes on the mobile. Not always, but I think that's really, really good. So overall, I think that looks really, really, uh, it, it works on the mobile, except spacing. Main issue is the spacing. When you have uh, text and images, just put them in the right group. Bit of padding in areas. But the desktop overall is, is super, super cool. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, I don't just mean about Atrim. And if you're using Atrim, put a comment. Let us know how you're finding it. And when I say let us know, Vito might read the comments, you know, so I'm not really going to do anything with it. But if, if you're using Atrim, mention it, putting it down. And what do you think about our review or my thoughts on the website? Too much? Too little? I mean, I will say there is a lot going on here. There is a lot going on here. But if you break it down, what he's done is rather than you having to go to the features page, he's kind of telling you a lot here. But out of curiosity, let's just go to the features page. So when we get down here, we're now getting different case studies. This is this is good. We're not repeating what was on the home page. We have different, we have Christina. Hello, Christina. You know, we have okay, we got Sarah again. Ooh, we got Sarah again from page one, but we have other stuff going on here. So now we've got further information going on. And I'm not going to review this page, but what he's kind of done or how they've designed it is you've got key information. And I can see that he's got a sticky uh, header, in fact. Oh, no, it's not sticky header. It's just, uh, but he has got a, a different header there. So we've now got uh, further, deeper information on the features. So in a way, Atrium is trying to hook you with all of the benefits on the home page, and then the features, the deep dive about what else we can do for you, why we're different, is deeper on in the website. It's really cool. I mean, I, I you can clearly tell. I I quite like the purple color. I find it soothing, and and I just find it works. And I like the pop color. So uh, well done, Vito, on a great website. Just a little bit of improvements on the mobile, and this is good to go live. Oh no, wait, it is already live. It's a good website. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Take care, everyone. And I hope my tips and the way I talk about reviewing homepages help you out. Take care. See you soon.